so in this session we are going to discuss the health benefits of the nutraceuticals in the management of the disease let us move towards the management of the cancer how the cancer it is going to be managed with the help of the nutraceuticals as you know that it is uh, we don't have the treatment for the cancer isn't it that is a disease which is being caused by uncontrolled division of abnormal cells in the part of body there is a abnormal cells are going to be grown at a very fast rate than that of the normal cell and whatever the nutrients are there they are being consumed by all these abnormal cells and there is a formation of a tumor so it may be the malignant or the benign so here the nutraceuticals have ability to control and regulate the dna damaging factor in the cancer cell there are so many nutraceuticals are there which are being used in the management of cancer either to manage the adverse effects which are being given by the chemotherapy or radiation therapy right or they are having uh, they, they are going to increase the levels of the nutraceuticals in the body they are going to act as a immunomodulator they are going to reduce the oxidative stress on the major organs of the body furthermore the nutraceuticals they are going to uh, in uh, they are going to provide the sum of the essential amino acids which are being required to the body isn't it so let us see the how the nutraceuticals are going to be helpful in the management of the cancer and so on we still that we don't have any treatment right the prevention is better than cure prevention is better right so one should think about the prevention isn't it once the disease it is going to be affected once the disease it is being uh, uh, grown we don't have any other option because because there might be the only the uh, the end end is the only only the death of that particular per, uh, person isn't it and and uh, we, we don't get we don't save the life so so one should one should think about the how to prevent the such types of the chronic disease and here the nutraceutical the way by which we can uh, prevent the disease that is the use of or consumption of certain nutraceutical so here when the patient is suffering from the cancer when we are thinking about the food the food low in a simple carbohydrate then moderate amounts of high quality protein fibers and fat especially fats of omega 3 fatty acid series are beneficial for the cancer patient so food it should be low in a simple carbohydrate and moderate amounts of the high quality protein fibers and fats they show the beneficial effect in the cancer treatment it helpful that is the nutraceuticals are helpful in reducing the toxicity associated with the chemotherapy and the radiotherapy there are so many toxicities are there in the patient when the patient goes through the either chemotherapy or the radiotherapy and whatever the complications and the adverse effects are there which are being reduced with the help of the nutraceuticals then phytochemicals uh, which are being obtained from the herbs are versatile source of antioxidant right and affecting the signaling pathway related to redox mediated transcription factors they directly modulate the endocrine system immunological cascade and enzyme related to the inflammation so whatever the things are there when we are using the antioxidant they are going to be helpful in the management of cancer they are going to manage the inflammatory processes and furthermore the oxidative stress on the organ or the body it is going to be minimize or it is going to be reduced then polyphenols which are present in the wine tea coffee coca vegetables and cereals blocks the initiation of carcinogenic processes and it is going to suppress the cancer progression so if we are consuming the wine tea coffee 
coca vegetables cereals which contains the polyphenol all these polyphenols they are going to block the initiation of carcinogenic processes whatever the initiation is there it is going to be blocked and furthermore it is going to suppress the cancer progression then epigallocatechin c galate is a found in a green tea one of the specific compound which found in a green tea produces several health benefits and is recognized as the most attractive in the cancer and that's why the demand of green tea in the market it is going to be then the lycopene concentrate maybe the lycopene is one of the component present in the tomato isn't it always be used to uh, make a sabji bhaji of the tomato and it comprises the lycopene and it is having a role in the management of the cancer so lycopene concentrate used to protect the cancer of skin testes then adrenal and the prostate then saponins saponins they are found in the peas soybean some of the herbs spinach tomatoes potatoes alfalfa and clover contains anti tumor and anti metagenic activity there are some of the saponins are there which are present in the plants like uh, peas soybean herbs spinach tomatoes potatoes alfalfa and clover they having the anti tumor constituents as well as the anti metagenic constituents then curcumin it is a polyphenol of turmeric and possesses the anti carcinogenic anti oxidative and anti inflammatory property as we have seen in the previous two cases in the management of diabetes in the management of the cardiovascular diseases along with the cancer uh, we, we are using the curcumin right then vitamins vitamins like a c e and the trace elements like a uh, selenium were found to prevent the cancer so always we should think about the supplement of certain vitamins with the help of the nutraceutical then talks of beetroot then cucumber fruits spinach leaves and turmeric rhizome possesses the anti tumor activity then gamma linoleic acid which is found in the green leafy vegetables nuts vegetable oil then evening primrose oil then buckcorn seed oil then hemp seed oil and from spirulina is used for treating problems related to inflammation and autoimmune diseases in the most of the things the gamma linoleic acid is present and these are being used in the treatment of inflammation and autoimmune diseases then quercetin it is being used to prevent the cancer of colon it is going to inhibit the melanoma growth invasion and metastatic potential then resveratrol that is a silvin exhibits a natural anti proliferative activity due to its role as a phytoallergen that is a plant antibiotic and it shows anti cancer anti carcinogenesis and anti inflammatory by activities and it activates the certain protein so here with we have finished the nutraceutical in the cancer